Hi Year 3, welcome to your maths video for Monday the 22nd of February. Is this a video for you if you've got the Year 3 maths booklet? Now you'll see here I have got our new booklets out of our new home learning packs. So we're going to be using this book from now on for our maths. It's got the targeted question book at the bottom. Now we're going to use this book a bit differently to our last book. We're not just going to start from the first page and work our way through. I'm going to be picking different page numbers every day. So you need to make sure you're listening to our videos because it'll be a different page number every day. So today's learning is on page 22 in this booklet. And you can see on page 22, we've got the threes, the fours and the eight times table. Now, before we get on to that, let's have a look at our learning questions for today and get warmed up ready for our learning. So our learning question is, can I apply my knowledge of the threes, the fours and the eight times table? So we're going to use in your times table knowledge to help you solve number sentences and problems today. So let's get warmed up ready for our learning. So I've got here multiples of the three times table and the four times table. Now I've tried to write out all the multiples of the threes first and I had two goes at that and you can see I've got some missing numbers there, okay? So I couldn't quite think of the, the multiples that came off to some of these numbers in the three times table. So you're going to need your purple book for this warm up and your pencil. So you might want to pause the video now to go and grab them. Now, once you've got your purple book and your pencil, I would like you to copy down the first lot of the multiples of three that I have written, but you need to fill in my missing multiples. So I've got three, Six. So counting your threes and fill in my missing multiples. Once you've done the first lot of threes, have another go at this one. I've left out different ones this time. Do you know which multiples are missing? So write out the full three times table again. Once you've completed the threes, have a go at the four times table. I've had a go twice. I've got some missing multiples of the four times table, so you need to fill in the blank lines with the multiple of four that should be there. So we know the four times table starts with four, then eight, 12, and so on, okay? So pause the video now and have a go at writing these out, filling in those missing multiples in your purple book. Off you go. So hopefully you've just completed my warm up challenge of the missing multiples of the three and the four times table in your purple book. And they're going to help you today with our learning because we know we're looking at the threes, the fours, but also the eight times table. Now for our eight times table, we haven't had a lot of chance at school to start learning these properly yet. So we're just going to go through our eight times table. I'm going to set you a little task in your purple book to complete just so we feel really secure in our eight times table before we have a go at the questions on page 22 today. So if you have a look here, I have got a hundred square grid and on the hundred square grid, I have circled the multiples of eight. So starting at the top, I've got one times eight is eight, two times eight is 16. I wonder if you can join in with me. Three times eight is 24. 4 times 8 is 32, 5 times 8 is 40, 6 times 8 is 48, 7 times 8 is 56, 8 times 8 is 64, 9 times 8 is 72, 10 times 8 is 80, 11 times 8 is 88, and 12 times 8 is 96. So I've got all the multiples of 8 there. So I'm hoping you're going to chant them with me at home. Now for our chanting, we need to make sure our voices are warmed up and ready, okay? You also need to make sure you've got your fingers ready to count the multiples of eight. So we know we'd have one bit finger or thumb up for eight because that's one times eight. Two times eight, we need two fingers up because that's when we say 16, okay? So are you ready to count in your eight with me? I know some of you might not need to use my board behind me for this. Are you ready? Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, 88, 96. So we've got to the end, eight times 12. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to turn our voices 
Turn the volume down a little bit and we're going to whisper our eight times table. Are you ready to whisper with me? Make sure you've got your hands ready. That's 11 times eight and then you can do your dance for when we get to 12 times eight, which is 96. Are you ready? Whisper voices on. Ooh, well done if you're joining at home with me because chanting our multiples of eight will help us to learn our eight times table. Okay, so moving on then, let's have a look at those multiples of eight in more detail. Now if you have a look here, I have got all the ones in the multiples of eight shaded in red. You can see they're in red. What do you notice about the ones? So look at the start, we've got eight, six, four, two, zero. Eight, six, four, two, zero. Eight, six. What do you think the next one could be? Th oh, 13 times eight. Okay, there's a bit of a pattern there, isn't there? So the ones follow the pattern of doing eight, six, four, two, zero. 86420. And you'll notice they're all even numbers. Okay? So every multiple in the 8 times table is an even number because we know it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Okay? But it's like we're counting backwards in those even numbers and then starting again. So we're going from 86420 back to 86420. Okay? There's a bit of a pattern going on in the ones column of the eight times table, the multiples of eight. Now, if we have a look then, I've now got the tens column in blue. Have a look at the tens in each multiple of eight. It goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 90. Ooh, have you noticed anything then? about the tens column in the multiples of eight. So as you can see, they tend to go up a 10 every time. So it's 10, 20, 30. But when we get to 40, we've got four tens twice. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 40. Then we go up a 10 from 40 to 50, 60, 70. And then we've got eight tens twice. And then we go to 90, going up a 10. So it's going up a 10 each time in the tens column, except for when we get to 40, we've got two four tens, and we've got two eight tens as well. So there's patterns going on in the ones column and in the tens column of our eight times table. Okay, so let's have a little go at just chanting the questions with the answers. Are you ready? One times eight is, Two times eight is, three times eight is, four times eight is, five times eight is, 40. Six times eight is, I hope you're saying it at home, seven times eight is, eight times eight is, nine times eight is, and 10 times eight is, 80. 11 times eight is, 12 times eight is. Okay, well done if you're joining in at home. I know it's quite tricky when we're shouting out our times tables at home, but this will be really helping you to learn your eight times table, okay? Which we'll be using today in our learning. So your first task, I said I was going to set you a task in your purple book today. You're going to need your purple book again and your pencil. And you've got exercise one and exercise two to complete in your purple book today. And you've got 13 questions for each exercise. Now that might seem like a lot, but once you have worked out all of these answers, if we have a look here, I've just used the commutative law, haven't I? So we've worked out here four times eight, four times eight is 32. And we know if we switch those numbers, so now I've got eight times four, multiplication is commutative. So I still get the same answer. So once you've completed the answers to exercise one, so you need to write the question, the full question out with the number in your purple book, write me the answer. 
Then move on to completing exercise two and you can be using those answers from exercise one to help you. So you're going to pause the video now and write the full questions out and the answers to these eight times table questions in your purple book. So you should have just completed my eight times table questions in your purple book for your first task. So now you're going to need your maths booklet, our new booklet, which has got the targeted question book at the bottom. And we're looking at page 22 today. And we're going to talk through some of the question types that you have coming up on your page. My questions are different to yours though. We're going to go through some ways that you can solve those types of questions. And then I'm going to set you off on this page for today. So question types then that you will be seeing on the threes, the fours and the eight times table page. 9 multiplied by 3. Very simple multiplication question. Now, some of us don't know our 9s, and we're looking at the 3s, so let's count in our 3s until we get to 9 lots of 3. 27, okay? So you've got some simple questions like that on your page today. You've also got some missing number questions. I know we were really good at these in our last math booklet. So I've got 4 multiplied by something, equals 44. I know lots of you will be shouting at my video now telling me the answer because you know what we multiply by 4 to get to 44. But remember if you're not too sure, just counting your 4 times table using your fingers until we get to 44. Let's count in our 4s, see if we can use the multiples that you have wrote down in your purple book from my warm up challenge. Are you ready? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, it's an 11, because 4 times 11 equals 44, okay. Now, another type of question you've got is just a simple times table question, but it's asking you in words. So remember, when we have these word questions, you can always make a note of what the question is asking you around the page in your book. What is eight times six? So we could write that question out, eight multiplied by six, eight times six. And for this one, we're going to need to count in our eight. Now you should have wrote down eight times six in your purple book from my challenge that I just set you. So you might want to have a look back at that, but I know lots of you will just be quicker counting in your eight. So are you ready? Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, because 8 times 6 is 48, okay. Some more question types then that you have on your page for today, you've got some circle questions where it's asking you to circle certain numbers. So in this question, I've got circle all of the numbers that are in the 8 times table. Now to work this one out, I know lots of you We'll just go across the numbers and circle the numbers you recognise. But remember, you don't want to miss any out. So you might start counting in your eights and see if that multiple is there. So we could go eight, 16, oh yeah, 24, yeah, got that too, 32, no, 40, no, 48, no, 56, no, 64, no, oh, got 72, 80, no, 88, and then we all know that 12 times 8 is 96. So I know I haven't missed out any multiples of the 8 times table, the numbers that are in the 8 times table. Another similar circle, the answer question you have on your page 22 today, is getting you to circle the numbers in this list that divide exactly by 4. Now you might have a different division, okay? I think yours says divide by 3. So don't just be copying my questions because I have different numbers to you. Now the words divide, we know we're sharing, we're splitting into those equal groups. And it's saying divide exactly by 4, okay? So if I take the number 8 for example, if I'm dividing it by 4, I'm splitting it into 4 equal groups. So I'm going to share it equally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can see there, 
It's divided exactly by four. I've got two in each group, okay? So eight divides exactly by four. Now, 17, we know that doesn't divide exactly by four because it's not in the four times table. It's not a multiple of four. 16 is, so we'd have one left over if we try to divide it exactly by four. So 17's not. Now, using my four times table, I know 32 is a multiple of four. So I can circle that one. And 36 is also a multiple of four because nine times four is 36. Four definitely is, because I could share four equally into four groups. And we know 11 times four is 44, okay? So use your knowledge of your times tables to help you with these questions. Okay, finally, you've got a problem at the bottom of your page that's very similar to this, but I've got a different times table in here. So I want you to have a go at applying what I've taught you here. So I've got Janet has eight bags. I'm going to underline eight, how many bags she has. She puts three sweets into each bag. So those eight bags she's got, she puts three sweets in each one, okay? There is two sweets left over. How many sweets did Janet start with, okay? So, for this question, we need to visualise, you may even get drawing, okay? So I've got here, Janet with her eight bags, so I'm going to draw, I'm just going to draw circles for these bags. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a small one on the end, eight. Okay, I know yours will be a lot neater if you're showing you're working out on your whiteboard or in your purple book. So there's Janet's eight bags. Now it told us she puts three sweets into each bag. So there's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Putting three sweets into each bag. I'm following what the question has told me. But we're told that Janet has two sweets left over. We've got two sweets here, okay? So how many sweets did Janet start with? So before she put all these sweets in a bag, we need to count up all the sweets. Now if you have a look, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight lots of three sweets. So we can use our times table knowledge in a three times table there, or even the eights. And we know that eight times three is 24. But remember, She's got two left over, so we need to add them in too. So 24 that are in the bag, each bag plus my two is 26. So she started with 26 sweets. Okay. So what I'd like you to do now, you're going to now complete page, just page 22, in your book. We're only completing one page today and that's five questions there. Read the questions carefully, make sure you're applying your threes, your fours and your eight times table. Once you've done that, if you want an extra challenge, get yourself on TT Rockstars because that will really help you consolidate your knowledge of the threes, the fours and the eight times table. Make sure you take a picture of your purple book work and your sheet in your new book for today, year three. I can't wait to see all of your work. Take care and I'll see you soon.